Ooh, no hat. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're going. I'll leave that in. Yeah, I know. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Ooh. I'm Scott. Bart here with with a hat and a double hitter. We got Talisker Ooh. Eight Year and Elsa Bay. A light double hitter. We're going to test it. Sand Deep style again. I was going to say Sand Deep style. I knew it. Sand Deep style. People are like, what's that? What style is that? All right. Woo! Um, at our fifth year anniversary, Bart did not take the tape off like I asked him oh, to. Oh, I was not paying attention. I didn't see the tape on that one. <laughs> that is, is that quick. tape or is that the... Uh, That's the uh, This parafilm. is not tape. That's what confused me. You were uh, like, take the tape off. I'm like, not the parafilm. Feel that. Ooh, that's nice. Hefty. That's like, that's uh, like granite. Oh, there's a piece of granite in there. Piece of granite. Uh, at our fifth anniversary gathering here in October, we met Sam Dean. You could like, this could be, this could have taken out Goliath. Sam Deep came <laughs> up from Dallas. Yes. I'm trying to move on because we got two whiskeys to review. Sorry, and I'm slowing you down. I do want to mention yeah. that, that this bottle must have been really, really good. I know. Because... because Although I, I'm sure, I mean, this must say he must have been like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gift this one, mm, one more dram. <laughs> yeah, let me gift it now. The, the talent. Mm. So, so Sandeep arranged for us to get these, both of these. Right. Uh, there is more of the Talisker Eight in there for us. These are both yes. bottles that he's already worked on. Yeah, maybe he just poured some out and kept some samples for himself. Possible. And kept pouring. Well, and I know uh, the Scotch Four Dummies <laughs> got some of the Talisker Makes Eight sense. as well Makes sense. from Sandeep. Uh, Elsa Bay Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, uh, uniquely distilled and meticulously balanced single malt whiskey from Scotland's Ayrshire Coast. I'm sure, that's 100% correct. Yep, William so, and Sons, 48.9%. And, and one thing we like to do that we never thought would happen is fans will gift us bottles all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you gift us a bottle and it hasn't been on the show before, it'll be on the show. And it's even worked the way in that there's bottles we can't get, we don't ever see in Kansas. Boom, they make their way here. We're able to review them. So, um, even if uh, someone... And this would make a good decanting bottle. So, we will review it. Coin number 97, 96. 93, 95. See how fast I went? I'm yeah. saving time. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> what well, make up. Um, I saw on the front that said 21 parts Ooh, per... Repeated parts per million. Nice. There I did it. Hence of the, hence of the peat. Um, I got lemon custard, salt, and... Pete, light Pete. Well, if you didn't just read my mind, because I was thinking I've got salt right away. I, I'm not sure I thought custard yet, but I definitely thought uh, like uh, lemon, lemon yeasting. I only dough. said that because it really, the it was like mm. a citrus in there that really mm -hmm. made me start salivating a little yes. bit. Yep. Like a tangy, just a yep. lemon. And what's funny is this is that subtle peat that you get it on that first sniff and then the longer you got your nose in there the more it falls into the background. The longer you got your nose in there. <laughs> I got a sticky note right here to remember we do a Patreon shout out at the end because we, we keep forgetting. We've forgotten several times. <laughs> We're all like you know what we forgot to do? It Patreon! Patreon! Uh, boy, let me now, and actually, when so we were looking at these, and I said, well, let's do the Elsa Bay first because the Talisker is peated. Mm -hmm. I didn't think this was. So I'll bet you the Talisker is a little bit more peated Ooh. than this is, though. Oh, my. Isn't that interesting? So the peat splashes you right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then that lemon zesty, yeah, custard works its way in, and it's creamy, and it's light. <laughs> I gotta look this up to see how much this is. Yeah, that is something. That, that <laughs> initial burst of peat, without it being an overwhelming peat, even in the mid palate or finish, is is quite amazing and distinct. That's micro very matured. Good. What does micro mature? I don't know, but that is uh... that is different. I've never had that flash of peat and then it's gone. And it's like a substantive, substantive substantial flash of peat in the open this is uh, in the uk this is a 60 70 dollar bottle nice wow, wow uk people grab that not to um, mention the bottle is so nice <laughs> i want to keep it hmm. hmm wasn't was not expecting this mm -mm. wow 
again, that is just, it's like a flip flop of my expectations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it really is. A, it's 50% peat, 50% sweet, light citrus sweetness, pow powdered sugars, salt. Yeah. This finish, though, although there's a lingering sugary, watery peat, it drops off really fast. You know, you, I'm used to my peats having the long finish. The finish here, it's still present, but it's not as long. But what's definitely is that flipping of expectations, the flash of peat early, sure. Water. Flash of peat early. Uh, and then how it just whoop, wisps away and turns all lemony and tangy. Vanilla? Mm -hmm. Vanilla? Vanilla? Milly milli vanilla? Did you get some honey in there? Yeah. I thought I had a little honey. Yeah, that could be a lot of the sweetness. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I think the water changed it a little bit. Mm. Mm. I got a little more like cracked pepper. I didn't have that at first. Mm. I'd say 90, Hold 91 on. on the Elsa Bay. Let's move on to the towel. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, 91 for sure. Yeah, very mm. nice. I want to do one more sip of that. I okay. had that cracked pepper thing. Didn't get the first time. So this is uh, the Talisker 8 is a limited edition this year from Talisker. This is a uh, cask strength version as well. Wow. 59.4%. Uh, from Deep Chard, First Fill, Ex Bourbon, American Oak. The water changed that a lot. Right. I didn't really notice. Oh, boy. I got uh, a spicy black pepper all the way through now. That's mm. like, for me, I do have a little bit on the tail end. I don't know if I had that much or all the Actually, way through. I was like, look, look. I mean, it's. That's interesting. I need to cleanse again. That was very different. I don't think you'll have to cleanse before the talisker. Well, I, the pepper thing threw me again. That, that, that was good. Anybody shipping now, that over here? Um, let's see. The uh, Hiddenism Wines has it. Nichols and Perks has it. They ship over. Hmm. I believe Hedonism Wines has. I, I know Nichols and Perks ships here. Matt, they've, Masters of Malt and Whiskey Exchange have it, but I think neither one of them are shipping here yet to, to the States, or they've stopped mm. altogether. Let's look up the Talisker 8. You're fast with that up. It's like... Uh, ooh. Ooh. Holy moly. Oh, 1970s. A new one. Oh, sorry. We were looking well, at the old still, one there. That was... This is uh, pretty much auction sites. And one place, the Whiskey Source, has the Talisker 8 for $163 a bottle. Wow. That's... Thank you, got, Sandy. I'm pretty sure that probably wasn't it originally. I'll bet you demand for this one is higher and has probably driven the price up. Hmm. I can't imagine a cast strength 8-year being more than... Seventy dollars. Ex bourbon American. Um, from deep chard, first filled ex bourbon American. So deep chard going on here. Hmm. Boy, nothing on the nose. Made by the sea. Yeah, that is something. That's where's the nose? It's, it's going to turn out. This one's going to be heavier BPM. <laughs> You're right. I think I can tell there's whiskey in the glass, but that's about it. Where's the nose? It's like a ghost. Mm. <laughs> You're right, and uh, huh? Mm. You got a mm -hmm. palate, though, eh? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my! Woo! Mm. Yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of peat, a lot of earth. Well, I mean, not a lot of peat. Peat, a lot of earth, earthiness. Yeah, it's a savory, earthy mm -hmm. peat. Mm -hmm. No iodine. Huh. Um, nice warming palate. I mean, it really, like, like it warmed my palate. The open was softer here. Mm -hmm. At first, I was like, I'm not getting... Second sip now. Okay. So much more of the sweetness. Boy, and 
feels like it just says ex bourbon cask feels like feels like a, a sweetness from a wine cask but there's vanillas um creams peat earth that's really good as soon as i swallow i get this burst of sweetness Ooh. and then it immediately goes to the isla savory warming meaty's wrong savory's probably right um an earthiness that's different too these are two very different peat styles here peat influences wow man i added a splash of water bring that one down 50 it doesn't feel 59 i mean you can tell it's higher abv it doesn't feel like it's almost it's knocking on the door at 60 percent feels older than eight years as well i would agree with that feels like a, a 12 to yeah. 15 year old yeah i picture it feels like it was distilled next to a lighthouse with a fire on fire <laughs> and a lighthouse on fire near the sea with driftwood <laughs> mm. and a pirate ship no pirate ship mm. the smells a little bit more with the water in it now too i get a little more oak wood a couple drops of water still just delicious i can't really tell maybe it's showing on the finish maybe it's dragging it out dragging its feet um still very good high abv getting some like strong all spices as well yeah and the yeah. finish mm -hmm. nutmeg wow. cinnamon mm-hmm like fresh ground cinnamon where you literally put like the bark in something and ground it wow these are both very unique very good yeah saying deep we will need the rest of the bottle of <laughs> both <laughs> the use of granite quite interesting So I want to know what micro matured is. Matured, small. <laughs> a little person comes up. Yeah. What What's really <clears throat> weird though with the Talisker is the nose in that it's not real pungent. That's not, I mean, no, there's nothing. There's almost nothing. There. Still, maybe I get a little bit of an earthiness on there. I mean, when I added the water, I could. I can pick up a little bit of the oak. And I've added four drops of water now. Actually, I think it's brought out more of the sweetness. I'm going to try that. It's still, still a great palate. Still full and rich. That sweetness just lingers, keeps going. Almost a little bit of uh, some oranges. Orange peel hmm. Hmm. I like that uh, 93 maybe really? a 94 well, 91 again uh, yeah 160 dollars man I, you know you might not if, if you had 160 dollars and you bought that you might not be disappointed I wish I could have bought it before for yeah. yeah if, if assuming it's ninety dollars. I would all I'd be I, all over. It. I can't see an eight year old cast right. drink. What's an eight year old Lagavulin? Mm -hmm. You know, oh, it's not cast drink. That's right. forty seven or forty nine yeah. percent. I mean, it's again. I like my peach young. This one brings a little bit, although it doesn't taste young. What this smoky savory peat is doing is interesting. There's a few bottles at Whiskey Auctioneer right now. They're sitting at one hundred and four and one hundred and eleven dollars. Mm. So, if you can get in it for that, I think it's a good deal. The complaint is once we do this review, it's going to go up. Mm -hmm. mm. So, sorry. Oh, I like that. That is, that is good. Yeah. Go back to the Elsa Bage or whatever. Yeah, let me, that's a good idea. Let me do one more little cleanse. Yeah. The lightness. Just as much peat. Just lighter all around, lighter profile. 
Mm -hmm. Still, still good, still delicious. Um, let's get our uh, Scotch God shout out in. Is this an NAS? Yes. Hmm. The Elsa Bay. Yeah. Smoke precisely balanced with sweetness. That's 100% correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've got the peated parts per million is 21, and the sweetness parts per million is 11. That's so what SP? I, I'm guessing. SP Because it says a good balance, uh, precisely yeah. balanced yeah. with peat or smoke, precisely balanced with sweetness. And they've got a PP. PM and a SPPM, so I'm guessing it's peats parts per million and sweetness parts per million. Sure. <laughs> Maybe it could be salt parts per million. Rolling with it, buddy. Uh, Jeff is. Jeff Hyatt comments. Got to be Scott's a fan. God shout out. Got to be a, a great fan shout out. Yep. He says I was watching old episodes 402 to be exact, and y'all said people were commenting y'all blabbered too much. Mostly me. He says I like Bart's stories and ah. want to hear the waterbed story in yes. case I've missed it. Yeah, I haven't put it out yet. It's yeah. not nearly as sexual as he, it sounds. He says, just reviewing products are too blah. Yeah. And basic, there are plenty of channels that I can see review. I want to feel like I know you. Tell stories how the days or weeks has been. I think a lot of people would love it more than dislike and draw new viewers in as well. Uh, totally. I think that's what we do. I think that is what we do. Well, the U.S. Border Patrol calls them illegal immigrants. We call them new watchers. Way to save that. I wasn't sure where you were going. Oh, I've said that before. I know. I just I get nervous <laughs> every time. I thought maybe you were going for like, you know, uh, whiskey reviewers want to build a wall or something. <laughs> <laughs> we would be headline news and get a little splash going there. I figured you were going for negative marketing. Nope. No, that's a great read. That's yeah. great. I will no, say. We know. I think, we've, I think we've come to accept kind of a balance. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know... Some like the blabber and some don't. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Well, and then you had a great idea. Get our open done. Get, get our review going. Then we kind of move into this phase so that if people are just, you know what? I don't want fun. I don't want enjoyment. I don't want to know these Give guys. me the whiskey. Yeah. All I want is the whiskey. Shut up, blabberhead, blabberhead. They can stop it. Yeah. And some do. We mm -hmm. can see our analytics, and some people, as soon as the whiskey tails off, they're gone. Yeah. Others stay all the way to the end, and sometimes we even add little extra blabberage, mostly what I do, at the end. We had a few good ones at the end of, oh, it was the uh, Black Adder. <laughs> go back and just go watch the end of the Black Adder. I threw a few, some of the blabbering exits yeah, in Yeah, he there. had me laughing because he hard cut yeah. in, like, my blabber extras. <laughs> it was like, wow, I was on fire. The belt clear. And just so we know. The waterbed story is actually just, it, it was a catastrophe of, of near water damage is all I'll say. And someday it will, it will show itself. Uh, we're going to do a Michael Todd as a $5 supporter. Ooh, we're gonna, he gets his own, just his own uh, review here. Now, actually, we this is the one I've been forgetting. I had him marked. He yeah, moved up the list. Up. So far up, he, he wasn't showing up. December 1st. Yeah, that's what happened. Really. Right. He kind of Yeah, because you were looking screen. at the, like, who do we got? I was looking at the bottom, and right. he just had moved up. But anyway, Michael Todd. Michael Todd! Todd. Woo! Another two first names. Another two first name guy. And you get you get two shout outs, Michael. If you if you want to send us a picture yeah. of yourself clothes. with some clothes on. Yeah, gotta have something. At least speed. Uh, gotta have the pickle covered. <laughs> and uh, we'll no put pickle that in another exposure. Show, no pickle exposure. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Michael, for backing us. Uh, Patreon's a big thank you. Thank you very much. Patreon's been big huge. Support, big, uh, huge. Check huge us out. Go to patreon.com. Look up Scotch Test Dummies. Yep. We have little incentives there that you can uh, you can achieve uh, over time. Raster, your shout out is coming <laughs> someday, maybe. Yep. Uh, he's probably it's the it's the Raster weather right now is snowmobile weather. Mm -hmm. Snow machine. I think that's overwrought. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mobile. I don't know where that came from, but when I, I was, I lived in the mountains. We called it a snowmobile. Yeah, that's what I've heard it. Yeah. I mean, I don't, what, could we go beyond snow machine? Could it be like a... Let's go. Raster's getting his shout sorry, out later. Sorry. I was, I got lost in the snow issue. <laughs> Anything else? That's it. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Slauncha. Dummies. Dummies. Could be like a, a snow master craft. A snow craft.